All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I just wanted to give a little overview and kind of some of my workflow of when I'm working in iClone 8 and taking things over into Unreal Engine. Um, as y'all know, I do things with, um, I got the XNs or the Movella a Windows Starter mocap suit. And basically what I do with that is I get that data. When I do the animation, I put the stuff on there. Y'all seen me do that before and I take it into iClone. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just show you in iClone, and I'm not saying that this is the best workflow. I'm not saying that it's probably the most accurate or correct workflow, but what I'm saying is this is what I'm doing to make these things happen. As y'all know, I'm working on um, a kind of a versus where you have the Thanos versus Kratos versus Vegeta. So this is some of the animations that I made in there and um, how I actually work and get those things out. So if we see in here in iClone, um, basically you have this character right here. You got the timeline down here. You got the character Thanos. If I play that bad boy, you can see one of the animations I've created. So just to go over a little bit of that, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna drag this thing over. So we're gonna be on, I'm gonna move this stuff out. Basically, what I have is I have some animations that I've created. I just lay, labeled them DBZ because I'm basically this is Dragon Ball stuff. But you know what I mean? Um, what I'm going to do is hold up. Let's put it like this. I'm going to drag that over here. Now, this in the um, in the motion import settings. This is for whatever animation kind of thing that this comes from. This is from XNs, and I'll just convert all. There we go. So now we have it in here. So if I play this, what's going to happen is he's going to start. This is me with the motion capture suit on. So I want to start it there. So what I normally do is wherever I'm going to start it, I'm going to go down here, right click. We're going to break. So I'm basically breaking that. Now I don't need that. I'm going to delete that bad boy. Let's just start it here. We can move this down. You can hold Alt and um, scroll and make the wheel longer, the timeline, whatever, depending on how you're trying to flow. I'm just trying to show y'all something quick. So you see that we're gonna go through. I'm just gonna kind of scrub in it a little bit. We can't give y'all everything of this story, but I'm gonna show y'all a little bit. So you got Kratos coming in here on the side. We ain't trying to look at him right now. Saying so we're gonna do that, something's about to happen. All right, so let's stop it right there. He's basically looking at his, looking at that goodness. So, you got him here. He's staring. Um, I don't got all the textures in here because I'm building up. I got all the textures done in um, Unreal Engine. But you got him doing that. So then from there, what I'm gonna do is when I want that, let's say if I wanna, cause he might probably do a little snap. Oh, we can get some snap action. So from there, I'm just gonna get, instead of doing that, give me a second, let's start off back here. So we got this. What I would do is I would look at that um, timestamp right there. We got 32725. This is just my workflow of what I do. Like I said, it's not necessarily the most accurate. I got me a post-it note. I'd write that down in here, 32725. I'm gonna go to whenever I want this animation to finish. Let's say if I just stop it right there. All right, so we look over here, we're at 34009. So we have our in, our start point to our end point. From there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to file, we're gonna export. We're gonna export an FBX. We got Unreal, you can have it at Project 60. I remember it used to be a bug. I don't know if it's still in there, but you can put this at 30 uh, frames per second. You can leave it at 60. I'm just gonna put this one at um, 30 for now. Then range, this is basically that range. This is the number that I was writing down. So I'm gonna type in 32, 725, and endpoint is gonna be 34,009. So 34,009. I'm gonna leave all of this stuff the same way it is. You wanna make sure that you got your max texture size at 4K. That's what I want that animation. But let's just go in here, we're gonna hit export. We save it to wherever we wanted to save it. You can see all of the little things that I've been working on, just getting things going. So I'm just gonna save this thing right here. File name, we're just gonna put test tutorial. All right, so we save that. It'll just go through here, okay. 
We'll skip this right now because it's just loading up. All right, so now that we got that FBX file um, exported, that animation exported out, we need to be able to go into Unreal Engine and uh, basically link it up. But one thing is that you're gonna have to have is, is I think it's called like the auto setup. Um, basically it's a link from iClone or Character Creator to Unreal Engine. So basically to get that, what you wanna do is you wanna go up to your plugins. If you go to Character Creator and iClone setup, and you say get the tool for Unreal, they should pull up the link for you here. So you have that auto setup for Unreal. You can go to free download. If you need to see, they go through the steps of how to do that. So I'm just gonna go over here. You hit free download. You download this, you go through the proper steps. Then basically what you're gonna be doing is you're going to be um, basically installing um, the package into whatever Unreal Engine you're using. So if it's like 5.0, 5.1, 5.2, um, I don't know if they got the 5.3 out there because this is the latest, but you have that. So you do that, you install it. Now when you go to Unreal Engine, you'll have a little thing. I'll show you when we get ready to get there. So we click on Unreal Engine. Now we're in here. You can see this is what I was talking about. That's that auto setup. So it can help with bringing uh, different um, animations and your characters over from iClone or Character Creator. So in here, what I did was this is um, the Thanos that we're working with, right? So I created some animations. So I'm not going to go into those. But what I did was as that FBX file, I saved it as a test tutorial. So I created a new folder as a test tutorial because I want to put that animation in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to import to game. Now we're going to find that test tutorial. This is what I just made. So we're going to double click on that. What you're going to be getting is you're going to be having all of this goodness to come up. You can just make sure that the HQ shader is checked. You hit OK. Now you got to make sure that you find the, the um, skeleton for this Thanos. This Thanos, I think, is a mod because I got like three or four that I've been working on. So I'm going to scroll down here to Thanos Mod 2. So we're going to have that. Um, what you can do is you can be able to get, save all of these things in here. You want to make sure that you use TOS reference pose. You want to, um, it's a few other steps that you want to make sure import animations is checked. You want to also make sure that um, if you just copy what I'm doing, you can see that. Like I said, I don't know if all of this stuff is the exact, I'm not the expert on this. I'm just trying to make things happen, right? So as you can see, this is pretty much what I got here. I don't think there's any, anything else that you need. But you want to make sure that you import, you know what I mean, everything that they have on there. What I've been doing lately is I've been stopping clicking the import mesh. Reasons why it just be a, um, a lot more things and you can delete some of those when you after you bring them in. So I'm gonna un, I'm gonna uncheck the import mesh and I'm gonna hit import all. Probably gonna let this time go by a little bit faster because it's gonna go back in there and we'll let that time go until it loads up. All right, so it got done loading up. The one thing is when I hit that uncheck of the mesh, it'll come in, as you see down in the corner, without a mesh on here. But we're not really worried about the mesh. We just want the animation. So if I click on this Thanos right here, and uh, another cool thing that, I mean, that you can do, you want to see how your animation works and stuff. If you go down here to the skeletal mesh, and you just go to update animation and editor, right? So we have that there. Now, if we go all the way up to the animation, we go through and scroll down to our test. Let's see our new one that we just did. Where do I got that one at? We got our test tutorial. So now if we click this, we're going to see our animation live in our editor, right? So we got that. And then all you do is you just start adding your level sequencer and then you can build up and start to create your thing. You know what I mean? And when you do that, now we can go in here and go look at some of those creations. All right. So 
for the most part, I just wanted to give you a little bit of the workflow that I use. I'm not saying that it's accurate or it's the best way to go about doing it. But if you are a little nervous of getting into Unreal Engine or iClone and you're trying to take your animation, now with that animation, you can be able to grab up Mixamo animations. You can grab up packs that you can buy and put animations on characters. It's all going to kind of work the same way. But what you can do is you can get out there, you can go and create, you can make some good things happen. And then, you know what I mean? Just continue to do what we do. Create, make things work, right? So, um, I wanna wrap that up for this video right here. I just wanna let y'all know, keep creating, get out there and make it happen. And I'll talk to y'all later.